Baby, baby, baby. 
just believe that God is with you. One is as if you, because He promised that He never leave us until the end of the age. Yani baka mwisho wa dari. Bwana is as if you. So whenever you encounter things that are not even pleasant to you, usikufe moyo. Jua Mungu anaandaa. Bwana is as if you. Kwa maana tukienda katika neno la Bwana linasema ya kwamba mambo yote utendeka kwa wema. Bwana is as if you. So Ukiona jambo linatokea sema tu ni kwa wema kwa maana ni mapenzi ya Mungu Bwana Isa sifiki na tena akatuambia katika hilo neno tu tena akatuambia yani ya kwamba hakuna chochote ambacho kitakuja kwetu that it, it will overcome us Bwana Isa sifiki any any try any trial any trouble any anything that can come our way Mungu anajua tunaweza Bwana Isa sifiki kuna mambo mengi sana Uenda yakakuja kwetu tutaweza backslide the same thing. Lakini Mungu anaajilia yale yenye tunaweza. Ili ije ili jina la Bwana litukuze. Bwana isasifike. Because as we will overcome we have a testimony. Bwana isasifike. Uh, like uh, sickness. It will usually come. Utaona tu mwili nakataa mambo ilienti vizuri na something. Bwana isasifike. So in each and everything let us learn to trust in God. Na Mungu wetu atakuwa mwaminifu na atatupigania Bwana Isa sifiki. So I would like for us to share from the book of Isaiah Isaiah 40. Baina ni stari wa kwanza Biblia inasema kwamba wafarijini wafarijini watu wangu asema Mungu wenu Sema na Yerusalemu kwa upole umtangazie kwamba kazi yake ngumu imekamilika kwamba dhambi yake imefanyiwa afidia kwamba amepokea kutoka mkononi mwa Bwana maradufu kwa ajili ya dhambi zake zote sauti ya mtu aliaye itengenezeni jangwani njia ya Bwana nyosheni njia kuu nyikani kwa ajili ya Mungu wetu kila bonde litainuliwa kila mlima na kilima kitashushwa penye mabonde patanyooshwa napo palipo paruza patasawazishwa utukufu wa Bwana utafunuliwa na wanadamu wote watauona pamoja kwa maana kinywa cha Bwana kimenena amen Bwana isasifiwe neno la Bwana linatuambia ya kwamba yani tufarijiane wafariji wafariji unaona Yaani God knows anajua yale yenye tunapitia uenda. Yaani anatuvunja moyo but the, unaona anasema tu, wafarijini. Yaani tujifariji, tufarijiane, tutiane nguvu katika hii safari Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tusije tukarudi nyuma kwa sababu ya labda ya mateso fulani. Lakini tukifarijiana nikikupata ukolo na kuongelesha unaniongelesha tunatiana nguvu tunasema tuendelee katika neno la Bwana utaona tutaenda mbele bwana Isa sifiwe tena anasema kuna sauti inayolia nyikani bwana Isa sifiwe itengenezeni njia yani there is a voice inalia ya kwamba tengeneza njia na hii njia si kitu tu utaamka asubuhi you have to kama there are things you have to deny yourself deny yourself if you can deny yourself even groups deny if you can do something yani ili njia yako inyoke bwana isa sifiwe tu kuna vitu mingi zinatuvuta iko kama vile unatembea kwa shamba unaweza kuta kitu kingine inakuvuta huku inakuvuta but please let us shun everything ili tuweze nini tutengeneze njia yetu bwana isa sifiwe kuna asira tuko na asira sometimes you you can be low unaona tu unavunjika moyo you cannot pray Unakaa hivi unayofikiria I was thinking that nitapata hii kitu sijapata sasa naenda chachi kufanya hapana tutengeneze njia haya yote ya dunia yataisha Bwana Yesu asifiwe tunapoangalia katika kitabu cha John 1 inasema pale mwanzo kulikuwa na neno na neno lilikuwa kwa Mungu na neno lilikuwa Mungu likawa mwili likawa pamoja nasi Bwana Yesu asifiwe hili neno let us carry it as Yaani we are carrying Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si tusilichukue ya kwamba ni Biblia tumeacha hapo. Hapana. Let us walk with this word because Biblia ni 
tunapotembea na neno la Mungu ni chai ya miguu yetu bwana isasifi when, when, when we trust in god he will lead us he will guide us he will console us he will invo- inform us unaona sometimes tunaomba tunasema discerning spirit when god gives you discerning spirit itakuwa utakaa hivi wanakuambia Mungu uvunulia wale wake mambo yenye atafanyika haiwezi kufanyika unaanza ona kiti imefanyika watu wanashtuka but wewe Mungu alishakuandaa tayari Bwana Yesu asifiwe hata watu watashangaa why are you not shocked why are you not astonished unasema haya yote Mungu ni mfariji wetu anakueleza anasema hakuna jambo litakalo kuja kufanyika kabla ni wajulishe Bwana Yesu asifiwe so unaona kama sasa hii neno la Bwana linasema tengenezeni njia maponde yatainuliwa yani mambo yote yata yani kama kuna crooked ways atainyosha bwana isasifi crooked ways meaning maybe in our lives we don't have a job you do siji family iko aje but he says he atatengeneza yote ikuwe sawa sawa bwana isasifi that's why we have to seek him the more let us pray the more let us preach let us shout unaona hapa chini nasema why do you shout do you go out shout to people waambie yesu anawapenda our god is able unaona mtu mwingine like sasa hapa nimekuwa tu kwa nyumba tukiwa na belma somebody akanikola akaniambia habari yako nikasema mzuri ati uko na pesa mingi nikasema kwani unauliza pesa zifanye nini ati unajua mimi nimesoma niko na degree niko na masters na sina kazi sasa natafuta mumama mwenye ako na pesa nikamwambia wewe tafuta Yesu kwa maana Yesu ndiye anapeana kila kitu huyo sponsor atakufa kesho akikufa utaenda wapi ani aliambia aliniambia tu asante na akakata simu bwana isasifi people are desperate wanatafuta njia ya ku out of their problem but the little day yani kitu yenye imewafumba macho wanafikiria we can find comfort kwa hii mambo ya dunia tunaweza pata yani comfort kwa pesa pesa kuna watu wako na do na hawana amani kabisa wako na kitu kila kitu there is a day to revisit mama mwingine pale aviation tukaenda kwake yani huyo mama anaendelea tu kukonda kukonda so church tukakuwa concerned tukasema awacha tembelee huyu dada by then nilikuwa redeemed sasa tukaenda kwake tukijua huyu dada ako na shida mingi sana because watu wengine they don't like to speak out wanajiekea mama kwenda kwa nyumba I had everything yenye mtu natamani iko mahali pale. Fridge akatufungulia hata tukitoka akatupea maombe na akatupea mahini ziko hapo na hawezi kula. Pesa ziko na hana amani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini tukimtafuta huyu Yesu. Yesu ni wa huruma na Yesu ni wa neema na hata tuacha. Kwa maana anasema kuna mwimbaji akasema ninyang'anye kila kitu lakini ufanye nini uniachie Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama there is anything that will separate us from the love of god please wacha tuitengeneze njia zetu bwana yesu asifiwe nyakati ni hizi wanasema kama si saa hii sasa hivi bwana yesu asifiwe usingoje kesho unaona vijana wanasema wokovu ni wa wazee wazee yao wamemaliza lakini hata ukiangalia most of the preachers in the bible walikuwa young ukiona moses alianza kazi yake akiwa ya Yesu mwenyewe akiwa very young at 12 years. Ukiangalia kina Jeremiah, hakuna mwenye alianza kazi akiwa mzee kama mimi. So mtu kama mimi I'm, I'm trying to redeem my time because it is an Peter. So I'm running after it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So please utilize your time. Utilize your youth as you are. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huyu Mungu ni mwaminifu na anatenda kwa wakati Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo same same bible same verse ina ina to encourage ya kwamba speak tenderly to Jerusalem tell her that her sad days are gone Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jerusalem it is us. Yaani tuambiane siku zetu za uzuni zimeisha kwa maana tunapomkaribisha yetu Yesu ndani ya maisha yetu mambo yetu inakuwa sawa kwani sasifiwe unajua sometimes you can go to console somebody lakini umpate ako very strong unaweza pata mgonjo amekonjeka kweli hata unamwangalia na unamhurumia but yeye anakuengarage anakuambia there is life after that even i i kama nitapona ni sawa na kama nitakufa najua 
nimejitengenezea mahali naenda bwana sasifi so tutengeneze njia zetu najua ni vigumu maisha ni ngumu lakini let us trust in god mimi nikikaa kwa tv nikiona watu kama wanodista the life they are leading uko lord uko trukana somebody can feed on yani a berry yani ka, ka matunda kamoja na hata survive akikunywa tu maji lakini wewe hapa tu Mungu yani siku moja tu umekosa kitu umelalamika umelalamika instead of kuambia Mungu asante kwa sababu kwa hii njaa nimejua kumbe mtu akilala njaa huwa ana feel unajua kuna watu hawajui njaa ni nini ama hawajui mateso ni nini so ukipitia kitu kama hiyo it's a learning process bwana isasifi inakufunza kitu kuna siku tukaenda tukifanya polio tukateremka huko chini pale kobil chini hiyo kijiji iko kwa riba so as we were walking tunaruka mitaro tunarulu tunaruka hizo life sewage eh kijana mwingine alikuwa tu amenyamaza alikuwa daktari amekuja ku vaccinate first time hajawahi tembea huko alinyamaza the whole day aye ana vaccinate tu amenyamaza sasa tukamuuliza ni nini mbaya tulikuja tukafika huko akasema i thank god very much tukamwambia why kufanya hii kazi imenifunza another life bwana isasifi yeye ameishi tu kwa ubabi anajua maji ni hot shower hajui life mpaka anauliza ah watu wanaishi nikamwambia sio unaona wanaishi and they are very happy wanaenda ku buy lunch wanarudi kwa nyumba alikuja mpaka akasema i have humbled myself i never sitawahi kujiinua bwana isasifi kwa maana anajua hata maisha yako nayo kuna mwingine anatamani na hana so let us give thanks to god each and every time whatever we face let us thank god because maybe it's a learning process anataka kupitishia ili utatoa ushuhuda baadaye bwana isasifi so katika kila hali let us learn to appreciate god bwana isasifi because hapa neno linasema we shout alafu hapa chini ukisema ukitaruka na kuuliza you shout what if you can sing sing if you can preach preach if you can do anything do if you can help people please help kwa sababu the bible pia inatuambia we have to be the mouth for those that cannot speak yani tuongee kwa niaba ya wale hawawezi kujiongelelea unaweza kuta mahali mtoto yatima hana right yeye ajui right zake sinakuwa violated hapo ingilia hapo na hapo unafanyia Mungu kazi Bwana Yesu asifiwe so let us not to give up kwa sababu hii neno linasema alafu tunapofanya hivyo the glory of the lord will be revealed Bwana Yesu asifiwe utukufu wa Bwana utafanya nini utajulikana kwa yani kwa yale matendo tumefanya Bwana Yesu asifiwe unajua ukiomba Maybe you are praying for somebody who is sick. Ukiona amepona, si utajua Mungu amekam through. Maybe ukikuja hapa kumwabudu Mungu, unaona anapanua yani maono yako. Hiyo ni Mungu amesikia maombi na amekuja. Bwana isasifi. So tusichoke. Tunapoteremka pale down you can read for me. The same verse 29, nini 40 29 to 29 Hiyo sema Isaiah Isaiah from 29 to 31 For us start from 28 40 28 Kitabu cha Isaiah mlango wa 40 mstari wake wa 28 Biblia inasema Je je wewe ufahamu je wewe hujasikia Bwana ni Mungu wa milele muumba wa miisho ya dunia hata choka wala kulegea wala hakuna hata mmoja awezae kuupima ufahamu wake huwapa nguvu waliolegea na huongeza nguvu za wadhaifu hata vijana huchoka na kulegea nao vijana wanaume hujikua na kuanguka bali wale wa mtumaini yao bwana atafanya upya nguvu zao 
watapaa juu kama mbawa kama tai watapiga mbio wala hawatachoka watatembea kwa miguu wala hawatazimia Amen. Bwana isasifiwe. Hilo ni neno la Bwana. Bwana isasifiwe. Biblia inatuambia kwani amjawai elewa huyu Mungu wetu ni wa milele. Si tunaimbanga wa milele, Mungu wetu ni wa milele. Wa milele, Mungu wetu ni wa milele. Haleluya. Ni wa milele. Haleluya. Ni wa milele asifiwe. Bwana isasifiwe. Tusiwe tu tunaimba maneno our God is an everlasting God. Bwana isasifiwe. He is the only friend you can you can rely on. Yaani rafiki wa karibu unaweza mkibilia anytime. Afanye nini aweze kukusuluhishia maneno. Bwana isasifiwe. Tena ye is the creator of the universe. Yeye ndiye alituumba. Sasa usiende ukiwa muoga kumwabudu. Yeye ni baba yetu. Hata ukimusumbua mara ngapi? Kitu mzuri ni pasia ya hekalu iliweza kupasuka Bwana isasifiwe. We have been given a direct link. We call on him anytime. Hata ukishtuka katikati ya usingizi we endelea kunena na yeye. Ukiwa barabarani endelea kunena na yeye. Yeye ni Mungu wa, 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 mwenye anaweza yote Bwana isasifiwe. Unaona 29 inasema nini? Anapeana nguvu kwa wale wanyonge. Bwana isasifiwe. Sometimes you can feel weary. Yaani unashindwa ufanye nini ama jambo limekupata unashindwa ufanye nini ukimbilia nani lakini kwenye unaenda hakuna jibu kwenye unaangalia hakuna jawabu turn to god trust in him bwana is asifiwe he will come through for you in a way that you not hata hutaelewa sometimes unaweza fanya kitu mpaka ujiulize kwani huyu Mungu wako wapi mimi huwa nafikiria Mungu wako mbinguni how comes Ame come through our God is with us. Bwana isasifi. He is Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. He is with us. Whenever you want, whatever you want, please just call on him. Bwana isasifi. Na first of all, let us cultivate our faith. Tukiwa tuna imani, utanena tu vitu vikubwa vikubwa na vinafanyika. He says, yeye ni Mungu anafanya mambo makubwa, lakini some of us sisi wenyewe tunamtrust kwa chakula, tunamtrust kwa vitu ndogo ndogo. But when we trust in him kwa vitu kubwa kubwa, huyu Mungu ako na nguvu na atatutia nguvu. Bwana isasifiwe. So unaona anasema he gives power to the to the weak and strength to the powerless. Nguvu, anakutia tu nguvu. Unasimama na unatenda jambo Bwana isasifiwe. Tunaposoma katika Biblia tunapata Jabez. Jabez alikuwa hiyo jina yani ilimweka chini kwa sababu ilimaanisha yani ha, yani mtu mwenye hana chochote he has no blessing sasa akaona anaendelea tu vibaya vibaya lakini alikuja akaambia Mungu that power in this name i refuse in the mighty name of Jesus sasa katika harakati ali, aliamini Mungu na akaamini ya kwamba hiyo power that is speaking on his behalf ikanzoliwe it was cancelled bwana isasifiwe neno la mungu linasema jabez became yani yani powerful than all the brothers bwana isasifiwe kwa nini alijua siri yake imefichwa katika neno la bwana na akaweza kumkimbilia na akafanya nini akamuokoa bwana isasifiwe so tusichoke hata ukiwa tu ukisikia uzito wote the church is open just come open cry unto god ask him then you will find relief bwana isasifiwe tusijifungie useme ulie kwa nyumba ama sometimes unaona una mtu hata afadhali aende aambie jirani uliko aambie mu na huyu jirani at the moment hata uchatoka kwa hiyo mlango wenye wako mbali atawapigia simu tasama yenye imefanyika kwa fulani hivi unakuwa discussion but when you speak to god and trust in him he's very Merciful and he will work it for you. Bwana isasifiwe. Alafu also Biblia inasema he will only work for us if we do not grow weary. Yaani hatuta give up. When you give up, kumaanisha umesema God huwezi pita hapa. Tusimwekee mipaka. Tumwachilie afanye kazi kulingana na mapenzi yake. Bwana isasifiwe. That's why tumefunzwa the Lord's prayer. It is all in all because we allow his tuna tuna tunaachilia yani mapenzi yake itendeke 
Unajua sometimes I come to church na mapenzi yangu imesimama. Nataka hii ifanyike. That's why unaona watu wengi wameacha makanisa wanakimbia wakisikia uponyaji uko hapo lazima aende juu. Anataka mapenzi yake itimie. Na utafika hapo na labda mapenzi ya Mungu ni kwamba upitie ndio ufike pale. Utafika tu hapo. Tena hiyo mapenzi itatimia. Lakini at the moment unaachilia Mungu mapenzi yake itimie atatenda Bwana isasifiwe. Alafu hapa that one inasema but those who trust in the Lord will 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 find new strength they will they will so high on wings like eagles. Unaona? Yaani tutapaa kama tai. Tai iko na characteristics mingi sana. Yeye hiyo ina fly higher, higher kabisa. Na imagine ikiwa kule juu kwenye iko inaona target yake hapa chini very clear kumaanisha when we trust in god he is going to lift us high and whatever we need he is going to give us our target as as we want bwana isasifi he will fulfill our desires unaona anasema ata yani atahakikisha mapenzi yetu yametimia tukikwa ndani yake because the bible says as we seek the word of god his kingdom first na na rashas yake yote kama wanasema do not kill tumefuata do not steal tumefuata do not do what tumefuata na tunaomba anasema yeye sasa atakuja na achilie nini mapenzi yetu kwa sababu sisi first of all tumejipeana kwake but when you just stand unataka mapenzi yako hutaki kujua biblia inasema nini neno la mungu linasema nini you just want your mapenzi to happen haitawezekana bwana isasifi So let us just be humble to tunyenyeke mbele za Bwana because he says wale wanyenyekevu wa mioyo atafanya nini atawainua so kwa kila jambo let us learn to trust in God and please let tuombeane unajua sometimes people can grow weary uko na matatizo what size naona school fees imekuja mtu hata anasahau masaa ya kuomba but Let us pray for one another. Let unajua ukiniombea Mungu ataniinua tu. Nitashtukia tu nimeinuka nime nimerudi mahali pengine penye si kuamini. Unajua saa hii let us carry one another as our parents. Let us not believe because our wako spiritual wanajiweza hapana they need us. We need to cover them with the blood of God because wanaizaenda waombe mahali hizo pepo siwafuati lakini when we cover them with the blood of god wherever they will go how we are covered mambo yao iko sawa because you are praying i'm praying we are covering them wherever they are watatembea vizuri na watarudi salama atasema ni asante bwana isasifi sasa jioni ya leo it is just a word of encouragement please let us pray for one another Also let us not grow weary in our doings. Unaweza kuwa unatendea mtu mazuri anakutendea mabaya. Unamfanyia mazuri anakufanyia mabaya. Usichoke siku moja. He will come to. Yaani Mungu atakam through either mfungua akili ama atakuja kukushukuru. Bwana isasifiwe. So tusichoke. Tusichoke kuombeana. Tusichoke yani ku, ku, kupenda na just sometimes unaweza penda mtu na anakuchukia vibaya sana. Endelea tu kumpenda kwa sababu the Bible says God is love. And if you are after this God, you have to cultivate that love. That's why nasikia anga pastor Dennis anasema utanipenda cha lazima. Hivyo tu kwa sababu neno la Mungu linasema Yesu ni upendo. Ni lazima tupendane tu. Hata kama ni dini tutapendana tu. Na hapa Biblia tukianza imesema turekebishane kwa upendo nikienda astray just come and tell me where hii mpaka usibute usibuke hii mpaka pia hiyo ni upendo bwana isasifi but when you celebrate ukiniona nikianguka hapo Yesu ayuko tutakuwa tu tunafanya makalongo zetu za ulimwengu huu bwana isasifi so tupendane tuombeane na tusome neno kama sielewi i'm free naweza kuja kwako nikwambie nime read a certain scripture but is Sielewi vizuri. Unajua Mungu upeana uvunua. Unaweza kuwa hii neno umeisoma, umeisoma, 
But when somebody akiifafanua na shangaa, kwani hii Biblia mimi huwa nasoma kweli? Yaani ufunuo Mungu ufunua ma neno lake yani different because the bible is a mystery yani ni siri zimejificha ndani ya hili neno so tunakuja tunasaidiana tunaombeana tunaosoma kwa mmoja because the bible inatuambia at the end of the world hakutakuwa na neno na biblia neno lako lenye umeficha ndani ya moyo wako ndio sasa utasimama nalo bwana isasifiwe So tusaidiane, tuombeane, tupendane. Na Mungu wetu wa amani atatubariki. Bwana isasifiwe. Sina mengi, barikiwe sana. Na Mungu aendelee kwa inua. Let us pray. Baba, katika jina la Yesu, Mungu nakushukuru kwa neno lako. Kwa maana wewe ndio neno e Bwana. Tazama Bwana, ukaweze kuja kwetu mfalme wa ajabu. Wengi tumechoka na mziko Baba huu mwaka wengine wamekonjeka, wengine wamepita katika hali ngumu. Wengine hawana kazi Bwana. Mfalme wa amani tunaomba tusichoke kukuabudu e Bwana. Haya yote ni ya kupita, lakini neno lako ni la milele Bwana. Ni heri tukoze yote bali tupate neno lako mfalme wa amani. Baba tawala na uhimidiwe milele yote mfalme. Tusamehe dhambi na makosa Bwana. Mara mingi tunachikwaza kwa kunena Bwana. Baba hata na kwa kutenda Yesu tunakosea Jehova tunaomba ukaweze kutusamehe Bwana. Hili neno Baba tukalikafanye makao katika mioyo zetu mfalme. Tunapotembea let us meditate upon your word Jehova God. You said that we pray day and night Jehova God that we pray without ceasing king of glory give us that power because you have said Lord that you are strength for the you are the strength of the weak Jehova God may you strengthen us may may you help us Lord that we may so high like eagles Jehova God as we celebrate your goodness Jehova Father as we approach the end of this year we ask you Lord that we finish strong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as we share your word may you continue imparting your knowledge in us may your will be done in our lives Jehova God whatever we desire Jehova let us get it because Lord you have promised that you never leave us that you will be with us until the end of the age Father we pray even for the for those that are traveling today Lord that you are going to guide them to king of glory we love you and we exalt you come against every demonic powers Lord that the devil is releasing Lord to affect people before they see the new year Jehovah God Father we pray that you may have your way Holy, Holy Father may you have your way there is none like you wewe ni Mungu usiye na mwisho Bwana au badiliki usii kama mwanadamu Bwana tunachiachilia mikononi mwako Jehovah wazazi wetu tazama hawa yuko katika hii nyumba baba mahali waliko tunatuma neema yako na baraka zako nyingi e Bwana kawalinde na ukawahifadhi katika jina la Yesu Kristo hatuna kimbilio lingine ila ni wewe Bwana baba kama sio wewe tungelikuwa hapa siku ya leo baba tunakuabudu kwa maana unatosha na unaweza mfalme wa ajabu tamalaki himidiwa milele yote Bwana hatuna la kusema bali ni kusema ni asante pokea sifa na shukurani na katika jina la Yesu aliyemwombea sote